Hello again YouTube, this is Netio Trails Outdoorsman here. I've got another video for you today of this. Okay, so first let me start this by, I understand that this knife has been beat to death on YouTube, right? Like everyone's got a, everyone's got a review of it. It's just one of those knives, it's so prolific and you either love it or you hate it. It's very polarizing. It's a polarizing knife in the knife community. Especially, even more polarizing are Spyderco's habit of doing sprint runs, which <laughs> this one is. This one is the, the new S45VN. That new super steel is the new hotness now. Um, I think Hinderer's coming out with some in S45VN. Uh, Spyderco's got this sprint run, and there's there's a couple of other knives that are doing it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but <clears throat> yeah, this is this is a knife that people are either going to love or they are going to hate. And I just wanted to give my take on it, which I, may not be that different than anybody else's take. But when I first saw this knife, when I was first getting into knives, like I said, it was about four or five years ago. It was one of those things that I. I loved it. I loved the design, the ergos. The ergos looked really good on it. But it was one of those knives that was, well, you know, the S30V version was kind of in that price range that, well, yeah, it's 120 bucks. Uh, what else can I get for 120 bucks, right? So I just never got around to buying it. And, and it was years and years before I actually picked one up. And it was a couple of years after I discovered the paramilitary two that I realized that, you know, I got to looking at it closer and seeing that Spyderco was doing sprint runs. And I thought, man, that is awesome that Spyderco's doing that. You know, letting people to letting people try out new steels in such a such a classic time tested design, you know. But of course the bad thing about it was that Whenever they dropped, they are sold out in minutes. I mean, just gone. And, yeah, you could pick them up on the secondary market, but people were charging... I mean, charging almost twice what they paid for them. And it just... It wasn't really anything that I could... That I could justify paying, you know... Twice of what, what they sold for on, you know, Blade Forms or wherever it was at on the secondary market. Because... Whenever they they dropped, I I never had the opportunity to snatch them up. But actually, here lately, thanks to a gentleman on Blade Forums, he goes by U two X O U U X O two, yeah U X O two. I think he's on Blade Forums. He had this guy up for sale, and I was surprised that this thing was actually sitting up there. I mean, it was on the exchange for a couple of days. And it was at a really, really good price, and I was surprised nobody picked it up. And and I had just I had just sold a few things, and I was looking to get a new knife, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm, I'm gonna snag me a Sprint Run Spyderco PM2, and and I did. And I mean, I was shocked that at first I couldn't believe it. I, I I messaged the guy, and I was like, hey, is this is this still available? And he messaged me like an hour later. He said, yeah, it's available. And I said, okay, I'll take it. And so uh, I did. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a great knife. I'm I, I love it. It's become another one of my top three. I would say top three in my collection. I've got a kind of a small collection, not a real big big collection. But it's become my top three. And I think these are, uh, which I'll go ahead and show you my top three. There's this one here. And then, of course, you know, you've seen this one, the uh, 690, not 960. I, I got that wrong last time. And then uh, another one of my favorites here, which is another Benchmade, that's the Bug Out. And that one's uh, Knife Center exclusive. It's an S30V steel, but um, a little nice little battle wash finish that Knife Center had for a while. But, yeah, um, you can tell that these these two right here are a little bit close to closer together in size. I really enjoy carrying those, but man, this thing, 
this is my first experience with the compression lock and I just love it. This thing is so smooth. Like it was smooth whenever I got it, but then I, I just put a dab of oil right down there in that tang and it just, I mean, it just opened up and it's, it's hard to believe this thing is on washers. Like that's how smooth it is. Like it's smoother than, smoother than, I've, I've got a Boker uh, Quaken that, that runs in the IKBS bearings. It's smoother than that. I mean, just extremely well done. And I get it's not everybody's jam. You know, it's it's a design that's been around for a while. I mean, it's not really winning any beauty contest, but I mean, it's such a good knife, and, and Spyderco's quality control is just on point. And this one comes in the... Uh, this is a new thing for... Uh, for the paramilitary too, that that kind of a, I forget what they call it, but it's like a crosshatch texture. It's it's real grippy, but I like it. It's really well machined. But anyways, that's just a, a quick little discussion on that guy. Um, I wasn't going to make this video very long. Just kind of wanted to showcase it and and uh, give my thoughts about it. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm hoping to have more videos in the future. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. God bless.